Welcome back sa ito ang part 3. So, in the part 3 of our video lesson with regards sa conditional statements, have the pairing of converse and the contrapositive. So, as a recap, we have here if the hypothesis are also known as the assumption, but this time, as you can see, it's a negation of Q. So, given a statement, we are negating the second phrase of the statement itself. Then, the conclusion is negative P. So, in the original statement, what we have done there, our conclusion is the first phrase of the given statement. As a symbol, this read as not Q implies not P. So, again, this is a little recap here. Conclusion and hypothesis. Now, this is a big event. The converse versus the contrapositive. And first, our table. We have three columns here. The statement, the symbolic form, and how we will read it. As you can see, this is the converse. The Based on the original statement, the second phrase implying the first phrase so that's why it's q implies p and its contrapositive is just the negation of the second phrase going to the first phrase which is still the negation itself or the negative or the opposite of the statement for an example here the same example in our part one and part two but different using of uses of phrases. It's Q implies P, the converse. So if the road is wet, then it rains. In the contrapositive, we just add the not there, the no word not. If the road is not wet, then it did not rain. So the same source of information but different wording so, it can provide us different meaning. So, here, the second statement, again, we are not the same with the other part of the video lesson. But this is not the same because we are just starting with the second phrase. If they have equal length, then the two segments are congruent. Then, basically, the contrapositive of the converse statement. This is the type again, but this is contrapositive. If they do not have equal length, then the two segments are not congruent. So, the same with this. We have here a converse and a contrapositive. And as you can see, this is just the negation itself based on the phrases and the symbol given. And here, the contrapositive and the converse but it started on the converse so we cannot start with the statement itself but from the very beginning and a tip for all you are listening here you have to start with the converse and the converse will guide you to create a contrapositive statement as you can see if it is congruent segment then they have the same measures and it is true as well, if it is not congruent segment, then they do not have same measures. So they have the same meaning and true statements, true value, both value. So next is a rectangle has four angles. Converse, if a figure has four angles, then it is a rectangle. This is a false statement because as you can remember, Four angles can arrive in different figure. It could be a square, a rectangle, a trapezoid, a trapezium, a kite. So there are a lot of four angles. And it's not always true that is a rectangle only. The contrapositive of this, if a figure does not have four angles, then it is not a rectangle. It is also a false statement. 
but this is how it goes as the converse and the contrapositive statements are concerned. And here, same with this. As you can recall, this is not a true statement with regards to converse because if it is divisible by 5, then the integer is with 0. Not all the time because if there's a lot of number that can be div divided by 5, like 15, 25, 35, that it does not end with 0, but still divisible by 5. The contrapositive also can also can be a false statement if we refer the converse, if the converse itself is a false statement as well. In this example, the converse here is a false statement as well as the con contrapositive. But the wording is still the same. We just need to make it a negative number, negative or the opposite in meaning. So same with this, we start with if x equals 43 and x minus 40 equals 3. The contrapositive of this converse statement is if x is not equal to 43, then x minus 40 not equal to 3. And these are both true. The converse is true and the contrapositive is true. So to wrap it up, this is the it has truth value. And this is the table. And if you have time, you can do a the recap quiz. Plus one, write each sentence as converse and a contrapositive. And test two, you can tell whether the statement is true or false. Then please write the contrapositive and tell whether it's true or false. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something.